Good evening folks, this is One Apple Maker and I hope my video will be better this time than yesterday. So today's topic is on how to lock your SD card from being formatted, from being overwritten and being and being from deleted by some unauthorized eyes. So first we gotta do is Detain the content from its container. There you go. So, gently take it out. And there you see the golden pad. Don't touch it, people. Now, we need to concentrate on this. Golden pad. Let me move this in the light. This little yellow thing that, you, that tells the computer whether it's right protected or whether it's not right protected. Right now it's not locked meaning it's not meaning it's not right protected. Anybody can do whatever they want. Now if you put it on the locked position, which is really easy to do, you, all you have to do is move this slider to the right with your hand. Just like slide it. Let me try to do it do it. If you got fingernail, that's really easy for you to do. But if you don't got any, then you can try. So all you have to do is get in under there, gently move the slider, and you see. Now it's in a locked position, so that means it cannot be formatted. It cannot. The data cannot be writ overwritten or deleted. And now I'm gonna insert this into the computer's uh, SD card tray. Give me a sec. There you go. Now it's in. And the computer has detected. And then we're going to go in this SD card folder. And as you can see, when we click on the file, there is no delete option. Uh, I wonder why. No, see, when you click on the file, there is no delete option. And when we go back to the my computer folder and right click on format and click quick format and press ok to erase all data and as you see as you can see it says this disk is right protected that means you cannot format this disk because it's blocked and let me get out of here first so and uh, safest, safest way to do it is Go to right and click and press eject. And so let me take it out of my SD card reader. And if you want to make this writable again, you just all you have to do is just push the slider back to its original state. See? Now it's done. And you can carry on from there because I don't need to show you the rest of the way. So thank you for joining me and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.